Yeah, yeah. Boxing aficionados. What's up? What's going on? Hey, yo, check this out. Just got some very interesting news. and To my uh, taste, it's very good news, right? So, looks like the WBO... Has mandated officially the Dimitri Andrade Janibek fight, right? Janibek Alinghanula, right? A lot of people get up, get very confused and very uh, tongue twisted behind the spelling of his name. It is Alinghanula, if you want to say it correctly. Anyway, so. The thing is that I like about this fight is that it's that it's an appropriate fight, right? It's in a fight. It's a fight that I I'd like to see. Uh, it's a fight that has gained some interest for the you know the well-versed hardcore boxing fan. Um. And it's a fight that makes sense. And only would be a sh uh, um, and only would be detrimental if it did not take place. And I'll tell you why. What I mean by that, right? So, you know, let's talk about why this fight is going to be taking place, right? The facts are these. Uh, Demetrius Bubu Andrade is between a rock and a hard place, right? He got dropped by Eddie Hearn, so he's not no longer getting the zone money. Eddie Hearn finally figured out that this guy is unmarketable, right? He can't make a penny with this guy, so he's. Let him go, put him out to pasture. But before that, he put in a bid for uh, the WBO super middleweight bout that was mandated by the by the WBO, which I just said, against Zach Parker. Right, and a lot of people thought that Eddie Hearn was going to win that that purse bid, but Eddie Hearn didn't really even try. So, Frank Warren won that purse bid. So, if you're Dimitri Andrade, you are a champion at at at, at middleweight. You're the middleweight champion, and uh, you're looking for a Canelo fight. Like you're you're, you're you're showing up to press conferences and. You're asking Canelo to get this fight and you're not even at super middleweight so you finally move up to super middleweight but all you got up there is a pathway to get to Canelo not a mandate as a champion to possibly get to Canelo not a unification you're up there basically with no belt you're, you're, you're fighting for a mando position you're, you're fighting to be number one and and maybe and then uh have your name called by the wbo as canelo's next dance partner but the thing is that the pathway to get there would have to go through the uk versus zach parker zach parker's no walk in the park saw the guy fight the guy um has some skill right switch hitter himself right uh has some power i believe in both hands and you giving him home field advantage by going to the uk and you know we just saw what happened to what danny danny uh the guy that fought triple g uh you know he he went to the uk uh, uh and uh lost to uh you know, a very questionable decision out there to a very uh, little-known fighter that you can... I don't even know his name right now, but 
he lost that fight. The point is that this is the kind of thing that you're going to have to overcome if you're Boo Boo Andrade. You're going to have to beat Zach Parker in the UK on a Frank Warren card. A Frank Warren card. For $1.5 million, right? That's what he... That's that 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 would have been his cut of um, of uh, the purse bid, right? One point five million dollars. I think it's one or one point five million dollars. Rather than going to a, 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 a next your next fight as a champ against Johnny Beck Alumkanala, right? You're the champion. He's a top-ranked fighter. You get to now get in. If it goes to a purse bid, you're going to have a, a higher purse split guarantee. But not only that, and better for yourself, you might even just get to negotiate the fight. Right. So it's come to my attention that, very interestingly, I did not know this, that Boo Boo Andrade is a Dimitri Salida fighter. I don't know if that's always been the case or if that's something that, that happened recently. I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't hear that Eddie Hearn was in a co-promotional deal with Dimitri uh, Salida for Boo Boo Services, but that's neither here nor there. The point is that you got Salida representing you. Salida, who represents uh, Clarissa Shields who is going to be fighting in the UK on a telecast that's going to be one of the most you know talked about women's fight of the year and it's essentially a co-promotional deal with a lot of involvement of top rank they have a fighter on that card Michaela Meyer Alicia Baumgartner, they have a fight on that event that they're doing in conjunction with Boxer in the UK. So the thing is that there's a lot of uh, 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 connections between Dimitri Salida and um, Top Rank. A lot of communications, a lot of amicable uh, 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 frameworks uh, uh, taking place behind the scenes, obviously. And now you're representing Boo Boo Andrade. So that opens the door for a negotiation. I don't really think that this fight is even going to purse bid. I believe that Dimitri Andrade may walk away from this fight getting $2 million because of his name. Because it is a valuable name in that he is undefeated, right? Uh, has been associated with Charlo, associated with uh, uh, Canelo, associated with Heyman, associated for a very, very long time. There's been the, uh, you know, the, uh, the lore of Boo Boo Andrade. You know, he has some buzz. There is some lore to his name. No substance in his resume, but it is a name that's much bigger than Johnny Beck Alejandro. See, Johnny Beck getting a, a vacant WBO belt or being elevated from interim to to full champion after uh, Boo Boo. Um, uh, vacates moving up would be terrible for Johnny Beck's career would be terrible for top rank because him having a WBO belt would be completely um, valueless he would have no names on his resume he would uh quickly be dismissed as somebody who uh you know 
But they say he never fought anybody. There's no reason to fight him. But Charlos would not need to look in his direction to, for any unifications. Um, the, the WBO... Uh, 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 um, the WBO's ratings are pretty bare of recognizable name except for Chris Eubank Jr., Boo Boo. Um, so you're going to be fighting a lot of nobodies. And there will be the whole thing again. He'll be stuck like, the, like, like Triple G and so many others with... You know, he is the beast of the division or he's the, 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 whatever the, uh, what are the, the ghost of the, the, what do they call that? Calls himself the, um, ah, uh, pardon me, whatever, that, that, that he's the most avoided fighter, you know, the, the whole spiel, right? But no substance and no reason to fight you. Now, if you get him to go through Boo Boo Andrade, it's a career, a career defining victory. If he could beat Dimitri Andrade, Boo Boo Andrade, and I believe his 13th fight, now, now you gotta say something. Now it's like, wow, he beat the guy that Charlo avoided. That Canelo didn't want to fight. You know, it is uh it is unimaginably valuable to uh Johnny Beck's career. Right? And for Bubu Andrade, it would be two million dollars at least that he wouldn't be getting in a fight against Zach Park. Right? So he would be getting justly rewarded. And if he beats him, now you have someone that you beat that people wanted you to beat. And, you know, a name that's going to put you, at least this is an interesting fight. Like, one of the things with Bubu Andrade is that he's not had a fight of any interest to any boxing fans, which was my uh, 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 contention from the onset of, of this. I went uh, and I had debated True School. I debated uh, 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 punch, drunk, punch Drunk Boxing, who didn't see it that way. They say, oh, well, you know, that the Johnny Beck is nobody and, and, and that has no value and, and he's, you know, and all this and the third. But I said to myself or to them in debate, like, hey, he's got no choices. Boo Boo Andrade has no choices. At least this is a man, though, that, some, that people are interested in. Clearly, people are interested in this fight. It has more buzz in this fight than any fight that Boo Boo has had since his turn against Vanis Matarosian. I believe is the guy that, the last guy that he beat that is of any note, that, you know, that is noteworthy. I mean, who else he beat? Here he would take on the uh, Kazakh, you know, replacement of Triple G. And it's a fight that they need each other. You need to have fights where fighters need each other. Not go around each other, not avoid each other. Yes, they want to have the bigger names and, and go up and fight a Canelo and, and get those paydays and unify against Charlos. But sometimes you have to take on a challenge. And sometimes that challenge is a low risk Oh, 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 yeah, a low risk. No, no, a low reward, high risk challenge. But at least you'd get that buzz. And for Dimitri Andrade would be a chance to show his skill on ESPN. He's never been on a on that kind of network. And 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 uh, Johnny Beck, uh, I think uh, the last time he fought, he did uh, he did. He did about 40,000 
40,000 viewers less than David than David um, Benavides did. I think they fought on the same night. I believe they, 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 they fought on the same night. David Benavides is, you know, he's a nice name and a big name, but people aren't really tuning in him, tuning him in, you know, tuning in to see him fight either. You know, he's a guy that, that, that also needs to go through Charlo, to go through a plant, to go through people to then get to Canelo, right? So that is the um, the task I have for Bubu Andrade. I like this fight for him. I like this fight for Zanibek because, again, the last thing boxing needs is for Zanibek to be elevated to a vacant belt, and you have a uh, uh, what is that? I am the, the uh, another uh, avoided monster that you know. People keep questioning their skill and and oh, but who's he fought? And that's that that kills boxing. That absolutely murders boxing, man. You know, um, and it'd be shameful. You dig? It'd be shameful, man. It, it's it's something that 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 should be avoided at all costs, in my opinion. And it's great that it's taking place. I, I believe that the fight will be negotiated. I don't believe there will be a purse bid. I believe that all that would be unnecessary because Dimitri Andrade is between a rock and a hard place, proverbially, okay? Can't get, it's either go to the, the UK and fight Zach Parker at his preferred weight, at Zach Parker's preferred weight, that guy, he's a natural super middleweight. So you're going to move up to fight him in his backyard with no belt around your uh, around your waist or go into your next fight as, as a champion involved in a championship defense against, you know, the new killer of the division. That's a fight that, that can be very well promoted. A fight that can be garner you some interest in. If you outbox Johnny Beck, Ali Khanullah, then guess what? Your name will rise. Oh, this is why Canelo didn't want to fight him. Oh, this is how why Charlo's avoiding him. Oh, he'll be he'll be in the conversation. And if Top Rank decides to go into a co-promotional deal which I, I, I suspect that they will because Top Rank likes to hedge their bets, right? They like to have the challenger and the, the, the champ, right? I, I don't believe that they, you know, I, 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 I don't think that, that they don't think that Johnny Beck will kill, will, uh, won't, won't, you know, will lose against Andrade. I think that, that the matchmakers at, at Top Rank see Johnny Beck being... You know, stopping Andrade. But in case that it doesn't happen, then they would at least want to keep that belt in their, you know, in their, on their side of the street, so to speak, and have the other middleweights move up and fight Boo Boo Andrade to have, you know, other interesting fights. But that's neither here nor there. Looking far, far too far in the, in the future. I'm just very elated, very happy that this fight has a chance of coming to fruition. Like I've talked about this fight for the last several months since uh, it's come out. I debated True School. I debated, you know, online and in the comments. And, uh, I debated uh, um, Punch Drunk. Uh, 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 boxing uh, um, and they you know they weren't seeing it but this is a fight that has to take place it is appropriate it is in the rhythm and in the flow of how boxing should be challengers should meet champions 
for belts. This vacant elevation crap is detrimental to the sport. I'm out. Next level boxing talk, baby. Peace. Uh-huh.